What's going on, everyone? This is your boy, Ron, back with DFS Greatness, man. Uh, it's Saturday, man, February 20th, man. Before I start this video, like the page, subscribe to my channel. Also, you can follow me at Twitter, DFS Greatness on Twitter, man. Use it before the um, game start. I tweet it out. I tweet my prop bets out. Maybe like a one, two, three, um, two game parlay. Just something small to win some money. And also, um, I mean, if you like the page, man, subscribe to my channel. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm trying to get the subscribers up. I'm almost at 190. And also, man, let's get 20 likes, man. I know we can do it. If you like it, just hit that like button, man. Just And also, man, at the comment section, man, put your favorite props in the um, comment section. And we need all everybody, you know, I want to hear everybody, what everybody intake on it, man. We, we in this together, man. Let's get this money. First game of the slate, man, you got Golden State Warriors going against the Charlotte Hornets. No major injury news um, for Golden State, but um, Devontae Graham, Graham is doubtful, and um, also um, Gordon Hayward was probable. What that means, uh, Devontae Graham doubtful. Go get Lamelo Ball. Go get him. Also, man, props for tonight. I love Lamelo Ball over two and a half three pointers. It's got to take about six or seven threes a game, man. So we just need three to fall. And also Gordon Hayward over twenty one and a half points. I love that one. Terry Rozier over twenty um twenty and a half points. And um, for the Golden State Warriors, props I like for them a lot. I like Stephen Curry over six and a half assists. And also I like um, Kelly Oubre over 17 and a half points. And I like Kelly Oubre over one and a half three-pointers. And um, also, if you want to take a um, tab in this, you got um, Wiggins over two and a half assists, man. But for the game, I'm taking Golden State on the money line. And that's why I'm, I'm leaning towards Golden State tonight, man. I just feel like, you know, Golden State got beat last night against the Magic. I look like this will be a bounce-back game for the Warriors, man, to get the win tonight, man. Um, next game in the slate, man, you got the finals rematch. You got the Miami Heat going against the Los Angeles Lakers, man. Miami Heat don't look like the team that was in the bubble, man. They, they look kind of bad right now, man. Jimmy Butler's doing so much, man. He got to drop a triple-doubles for them to have a chance to win. It's crazy, man. But, hey, I like Jimmy Buckets tonight. But the team I'm leaning towards tonight, man, let me get the uh, Miami Heat over three and a half. Anthony Davis not going to be playing. You know, I don't know. Dennis Schroeder, I think he got contract traced with COVID. So, I'm leaning towards Miami Heat tonight, man. I, I feel like they should be able to get this win against the Lakers. And um, for the, you can put this in the same game parlay, man. Duncan Robinson over 11 and a half points. Kelly Olenek, man, that's my guy. I love playing Kelly Olenek for points, rebounds, and assists. Kelly Olenek points tonight over eight and a half. Love it. Um, Kyle Kuzma. Can a real cast of Kyle Kuzma please stand up? He stand up the last game, and he got the job done. Points tonight over 15 and a half, man. I feel like Kuz should be able to get it, man. For them to have the opportunity to keep this game close, Kuzma has the ball. And Jimmy Butler over eight and a half assists. Hey, let's go. Let's go over for those assists again. And also, Kendrick Nunn over 13 and a half points. I love it. Kendrick Nunn playing fantastic basketball, man. And also, he's taking chances of opportunity, man. Opportunity is right here. Go on. Drogic's been hurt, man. He's getting good minutes. He's been balling. Love it. And Kyle Kuzma over one and a half three-pointers. He hit that shit in the first quarter. He hit two threes in the first quarter, and he was good. So also, man, Tyler Hero, man. Come off the bench, balling, man, over 15 and a half. I love it for Tyler Hero tonight. And Kelly um, Olenek, man, look at this right here, prop right here on, on FanDuel. 13 and a half points of rebounds. I feel like that's a shoe-in right there. A shoe-in right there, man. No Anthony Davis in the paint. Kelly Olenek, I think he's like almost seven foot. You know, hey, and Paul Gasol. I mean, Marc Gasol is old and slow. Let me get that. And I'm like, them are my favorite pops from that game right there. Or Miami, man. I'm taking Miami on the money line. Of Miami over, I uh, want Miami in three and a half, man. For like Miami, be able to get the job done against the Lakers, man. And right here, you got the Phoenix Suns going against Memphis Grizzlies. Both teams played last night. Both teams on the back to back. Game sitting at a two, um, 25 and a half total. And also, I, I forgot to look at this, man. The Miami Heat and the Lakers total is 208, man. Low total, man. Hey, I'm just saying. Uh, I feel like this, I'm not told, I'm not an over under guy, man. But I feel like this should go over. Uh, let's get back on the Suns game, man. Um, I'm gonna take Memphis as my team, man. But the way Phoenix is playing as a unit right now, man, unstoppable. You got Chris Paul, the veteran, is dropping dimes every night. He had over 16 assists last night. Crazy. So all that's been said, man. DeAndre Aiden looking like a stud out here. I'm gonna give me Phoenix. Um, uh, Phoenix. Let me get a minus the four, man. And Phoenix on the money line. And my favorite props for this game right here. 
I love Kyle Anderson over 12 and a half points and um, Van Janet Jonas Van Chunez over 16 and a half points and Morant over eight and a half assists and Chris Paul over um, eight and a half or nine and a half assists, whatever size you're looking for. Chris Paul had five assists in the first quarter. I'm like, damn, he's going to get it, man. Hey, that's CP3, man, one of the best um, skilled point guards in, in the league, man. You know, he's an old veteran now. You know, he's just trying to look for the open man, just trying to get points, man. Um, that's what I'm leaning for for that game right there. But I'm going to take um, Phoenix Suns, man. It's, it's a small slate tonight, very small slate, man. If you want to look at um, other props in this game, um, I Injury news tonight. Um, I, I don't think um, Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks day to day. That's the only uh, major news for Memphis tonight. And um, Phoenix. I don't think Phoenix got any um, major injury news. We're looking at tonight. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I think Phoenix is good to go, man. And let's get on this next game right here, man. You got the Sacramento Kings going against the Chicago Bulls. Game sitting at 234 and a half total. Uh, hey, I'm going to just be honest with you, man. Let me get the Bulls one and a half plus that, and let me get Bulls on the money line. The reason right there, man, um, right now you got to look at injury news. Glenn Robinson day-to-day. -day. Uh, Rashawn Holmes day-to-day. Uh, he's questionable for tonight. Harrison Barnes is questionable. All that's been said, man, if they don't got their whole team in, the men, um, Chicago Bulls going to kill them. You know what I'm saying? Chicago Bulls, they a little injury prone too. They got missing a lot of pieces. But I feel like without all their team, you see the other night, I told you guys to go get Sacramento against, um, Chicago, against Miami, man. Sacramento got blown out. So all that's been said, if they don't got their whole team, it's going to be a bloodbath. Chicago Bulls, Otto Porter out. Chandler Hutchinson out. Marketing out for the Bulls, you know. You definitely want to look at that, man, for tonight. If you want to go check us something right there, man. I'm um, definitely, I'm leaning towards Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls on money line, man. I feel like they're superior. They're one of the best teams to go with. If you want to look at this um, selection. But for that game, um, the props, I definitely like. I just really had one particular prop I like for that game. is Zach Levine over four and a half assists. I mean, you can go with Zach Levine with the points. It's 30 and a half. I mean, hey. I'm not saying nothing about it, man. Um, I, I she should be able to get it, but you know, I just I don't know how this. I can't predict blowouts. It could be it could be ugly, man. I, I'm I'm looking at the um, Bulls, and then look at prop bets. Um, I want to go um, Wendell Carter Williams, man. I want to look for double double. If you can find him, he, he had a good game last night, man. And like you know, that's, that's what you want to look at. Like like players with double doubles upside. Like I'm just being honest, man. Jimmy Butler tonight, double double upside. You want to look at that. Um, DeAndre Aiden and Van Chunez, same game. Double-double. Put that in a parlay and get some easy money. I'm telling you, man, it's not hard, man. It's easy money out there to be made. You want to look at players. Players get double-double. Like, um, Draymond Green don't get double-double, but he got the assist upside. You can go get him with his assist tonight, over his assist. He don't score that many points. His points like six and a half. He's not, he don't score points at all. If he gets points, you're going like, to win some money. But, yeah, man, I, I love the assist for Zach Levine tonight. I'm taking Chicago Bulls. Last game on the slate. You got the Washington Wizards going against the Portland Trail Blazers, man. Game sitting at 242 total, man. High scoring game. I like the over for this one. But um, the team that I'm looking for, man, um, I feel like Portland right now, man, I, I would take Portland. I'm just going to take them on the money line. I feel like it's going to be a real tight game. Very tight game, man. But my, my favorite plays I like for this game, man. I like um, Robert Covington over nine and a half points. And I like Royal Hachamar over 12 and a half points, man. I like those two props for that game. And also, now, one of my favorite pops that I really like tonight, man. Um, something about Westbrook. Give me him with the double double. And also, um, Trent Jr., man, over 18 and a half. And you want to get an easy prop bet. Uh, Anus Canner, double double. I'm just saying, plain and simple, easy props. And um, Westbrook over 20 points. 20 points, man. Westbrook, when he played against good point guards, he come to play. Damn little is a five-star point guard, man. Hey, that's how it's been said. And also, man, um, points, man. Um You want to look at guy, man, um, this guy right here, man, man, balling, man, come off the bench. Anthony Simons, um, sitting at 11 and a half points. I like the old for that one, man. Hey, that's a, that's my dark horse sleeper for tonight, man. He come off the bench and ball. You can look at guys like Carmelo, 
But you know, it ain't the same Melo. It's over 15 and a half. Melo should be able to get it. And look for props for Melo over 1.5 from um, three pointers, man. And that's hey, this is about it for this video, man. Hey, I'm not gonna hold you guys up, man. It's Saturday, man. Go have some fun. Um, favor. I'm just saying, man. I love Portland money line, Chicago Bulls money line, Phoenix Suns money line, Miami Heat money line, Golden State Warriors money line, man. Hey, at the end of the day, man, this is your boy Rome back with DFS Greatness. I hope this video is helpful, man. And um, like the page, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Twitter, DFS Greatness on Twitter, man. Until next time, I'm out, man. Good luck, everyone. And um, I'm gonna be tweeting out my favorite plays for tonight. And I'm putting a prop bet on DraftKings. And um, let's get this money, man. And, um, if you're new to the channel, share it with your friend, man. Hey, if I can make you go win some money, why not make your friend help your friend win some money, man? To the end of the day, I'm out. Good luck, everyone. Let's get to it.